Hello, I'm Gull. Welcome to Gull Tech Life. This is a Roku 3. Let's unbox it. So nice attention to detail. So the instruction manual. And then here's the device. You can get an idea on the size. Uh, it's very small. You can put it in your shirt pocket. Here is the USB. And then this is the back. You have the HDMI out. You have a mini SD card slot, a wired Ethernet, and then there's the power. And then here is the remote. Comes with the batteries and it's like the, the Wii uh, strap. Uh, because you can actually play games with this. It is a motion sensor. So here we have the adapter and here are the earbuds. Samuel Jackson must have designed these. It's purple. There you go. Those are all the elements that came with the box. The Roku is a streaming media device or streaming player. All that means is that you get movies, TV shows, music, sports, news, basically content for your TV from the internet instead of from cable or over the air with an antenna. Uh, in fact, on Roku, these apps or content or media sources are actually called channels. There are over 1,800 channels, over 200,000 movies and TV show episodes. To see all the channels available, you can go to Roku's website, www.roku.com. For free channels, uh, some examples are PBS, CBS News, YouTube, Pandora, and Vivo. There are actually free channels that show 24-7 music videos, kind of like what MTV used to be. Uh, paid channels include HBO, Netflix, Amazon Instant, ESPN, Hulu Plus, uh, Sirius Satellite Radio. Uh, for channels like HBO and Netflix, you of course have to have a subscription to use them. Roku is good enough to where you could get it and cut the cord, meaning cancel your cable. Uh, you can connect the Roku to a high-definition TV and watch content in high-definition, including 1080p. The search feature on the Roku is also really useful. You can search for a movie or TV show or actor, etc., and Roku will actually search various different channels to let you know which channel uh, that TV show or movie is available on and the cost so you can find the best and or cheapest way to watch whatever it is you are searching for. Uh, you can also get games for the Roku. If you are on YouTube on your computer or tablet and you want to see that video on your TV, there will actually be an extra button on the YouTube video you watch which will allow you to play your video on your TV instantly and seamlessly. So basically, you can cast your YouTube video from your computer or tablet to your Roku wirelessly. Uh, the Roku is also a pretty good value. They're not expensive. You can buy the device and you can use it as much as you want. It actually does not require a subscription. So you pay once and you're done. Uh, the Roku 3, which is what this device is, is awesome. It's really easy to set up. Basically, basically you plug the device into an outlet connect it to your internet, and then connect it to your TV. Well, that's it. One negative 
is that there is no digital optical outport. Uh, it has high definition audio like 5.1 or 7.1 but it's transmitted via the HDMI out only. Another negative is you have to create a Roku account and specify how you will pay for content that you buy on the device. The user interface is easy and simple. The remote control is badass. First, the remote does not use infrared. It uses Wi-Fi direct. All that means is you don't have to point the remote at the device to use it. The remote will even work from another room. Uh, the remote also has a headphone jack on the remote itself. Why, you may ask? Well, you plug your earphones into the remote and then Roku will not send sound to your TV or speakers but instead it will send sound to your headphones. That way if your kids or spouse or roommate want to watch something but you want to sleep or need it quiet they can watch their show or movie or whatever it is they're watching or doing and they can hear the sound from it but there will be silence for you. Uh, the device actually comes with its own headphones. Uh, lastly, the remote control is motion sensing, so you can use it for games like a motion control wand or joystick. Uh, you can use your smartphone as the remote control if you want. Uh, Roku has a free app for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. You can browse and add channels from the app too. Uh, FYI, using your smartphone as a remote isn't very practical because you can't feel the buttons. So you have to look at your phone every time you actually want to change the channel or fast forward or rewind. So it's a nice feature, uh, but you're better off using the real remote with real buttons. A few criticisms or shortcomings of uh, the Roku device. Uh, first of all, on the remote, you can't customize the buttons. Uh, there are shortcuts for Netflix, Amazon, uh, RDO, and Hulu but uh, you can't really customize it. So if there's another channel that you watch a whole lot, you can't really create a shortcut to it on your remote to get to it fast. You have to go through uh, the interface and scroll through the channels you've selected to get to that channel. Uh, number two, uh, you can't really sort your channels into categories. For example, if you have a lot of music channels, you can't just create a music folder. Uh, you'll just see all the channels individually. You can't really group them together into a category to make it easier to organize. And the last criticism is you can't turn the Roku off. It's always on. There's not an on-off button. If you want to turn it off, you actually have to unplug it. Uh, so overall, uh, the uh, Roku, it's better than Chromecast, it's better than Apple TV, and it's better than uh, the Amazon Fire Stick or Amazon TV. Uh, lastly, Roku is a privately held company. It's not public, so there are no shareholders that will want to screw over the customers just to make the stock price go up a dollar. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we got to find out where. He oh man, he destroyed the whole thing. <laughs> They're still there, dude. <laughs> That was just the I crowd. Was like, man, we need to get that alien on our team. <laughs> and these are the three weapons that I have. I've got dual cannons, a torpedo, and the third one is a turret. This nigga very possibly has weapons of mass destruction. Let's see what it looks like. quite attractive. <laughs>